Salutations, greetings, and many great hellos. This is Cottonmouth255, the Spore Serpent, and guess what? I'm back for more Yokai Watch. And uh, now, what I promised we would do this time is that we would go ahead and finish, or go ahead and complete the, this next part of the storyline, sneaking into the school at night so we can watch fireworks uh, from Mount Wildwood up on the roof. And then I would use the remaining time to look for yokai I have not yet befriended. That would be, um, that would be the plan. Oh yes, and also I recently thought that we should pay a visit to Mr. Goodsight and see if he has our next upgrade quest ready for us, because I don't want to have to go to the next bit of story and, f and find out again that there's a freaking watch lock blocking our way and we have to... Uh, go all the way back to visit Mr. Goodsight anyway. So I figured might as well check in and see if he has it ahead of time. But other than that, um, I don't have much else to say. I haven't picked up this game since the last time I recorded, so I haven't befriended any new yokai. I haven't even moved from this spot, really. Um, yeah, that's uh, now you're pretty much up to speed. So, we'll go ahead and talk to Bear, get this thing started. Hey, Cottonmouth. Well, we know who the slowpoke around here is. Yeah, I know. It took me a week to get here. I think we could sneak... <laughs> Sorry. Laughing at my own remark. I think we can sneak into the school through the service entrance. The school should be empty, but we still need to be careful. Yeah, the school is anything but empty if you have the yokai watch. Hint, hint. Gonna be some new yokai. Is this really okay? Of course it is. As long as you don't get caught. We need to find the keys for the service entrance, though. They're inside the school. How about you get them for us, Cottonmouth? Okay. Well. Looking for keys. Uh, there's an IPO over here, meaning that uh, we're definitely going to be seeing some uh, new yokai. Or, you only ever see an IPO when something... Interesting is about to happen, is what I'm trying to say. Ooh, that's unexpected and creepy and weird. And, uh, definitely supernatural. Huh, what was that? It's a whole new kind of creep. Oh my god. That's... Oh, talk about whiplash. That was, uh... Unexpected. That that escalated quickly, I'll tell you that. It's just... Get the keys. Hear the voice. See the ghost. And then all of a sudden, they, they everyone's gone. Just... Boom. Just like that. That's, uh... Very weird. And, okay. This is getting creepier by the minute. This is what Bear was talking about. Let's play hide and seek. Can you find your friends? This isn't good. Everyone has been hidden somewhere. The yokai behind this voice is playing a nasty trick on us. We must track down that yokai and find our friends quickly. Needless to say, Whisper. But anyway. Yes. Uh, there are yokai wandering about in the school, as I have already established. Uh, this might look like SB, but it's not. It's actually a new one. It's in 4. And she is accompanied by Sushiyama. I completely forget his favorite food, but um, I definitely know what in 4 likes. Vegetables. Um, I'm gonna take a guess about uh, Sushiyama's favorite food. I'm gonna guess Chinese food. Give him the uh, liver. Okay, apparently not. Maybe rice balls. Maybe. Let's just toss the plum rice ball. There you go. Fa it, this is favorite food.
I love the animation for Blue Minoko's meteor. It, it drops a rock on his face. It's pretty intense. Now, I'm going to warn you ahead of time, if my gameplay seems kind of off, if I am not as good as I typically am in these battles, then it's because I lost the, the uh, stylus for my 3DS, and I'm using an actual pen. Embarrassing, yes, I know. But um, that's what I am reduced to. I'm using a pen, a big clunky pen, so... Uh, that might affect my performance, it might not, but if it does, I'm just warning you ahead of time. Uh, Sushiyama's right here, might as well try befriending him, because we didn't befriend anyone in that last fight. Oh, this time it's reversed, it's two Sushiyamas in an inf in for instead of the other way around. Th threw a speaker in his face. I, I find that amusing for some reason. A cucumber for in four. Because who doesn't love cucumbers? I do. I like cucumbers. And another rice ball. There we go. Now, guys, finish him off. Please. Oh, got an item from that uh, wisp there. Interesting. I don't know what it was, though. I do not. It was a monkey circlet. Not quite sure what that does. Okay, uh, go down here, and there is a Mirapo, or um, not a Mirapo, Mirapo, we can talk to. Now I can warp here whenever I want. That's pretty fantastic. Now, what's going on here? The way forward is blocked. What is all this stuff doing here? Someone must have done this deliberately. It's structurally sound. Do you think a yokai did it? Only a yokai would stack desks like this, but why? Look! Oh. Katie is definitely inspirited by something. And it looks like she's going into the boys' washroom. That's, um, strange. Clearly not thinking straight. Maybe she was inspirited by Fidgefont. But we have to go the long way around if we want to reach that bathroom. So... We're heading upstairs. And we're gonna keep an eye out for Bear and Eddie along the way. Oh look, another new yokai, Copper Lead. As well as two more new ones, Garuma and Quaken. Quaken likes meat, I think Copper Lead enjoys seafood. So uh, yeah, where is my seafood? I don't, oh, I don't have much seafood at all. I'm definitely gonna have to stock up on some later. Come on. Take the whisk before it disappears. Nope, gone. Uh, what's this Garuma like? Rice ball? No. I find it funny how they were aiming for Quaken and not Garuma, even though I have Garuma pinned. That's just really strange. Well, that was kind of a bust. I'm definitely not befriending anyone this time. Level up for Thornian, though. Okay. Well, then. I should also check the classrooms, uh, cause you never know. There might be like an item or something in one, or there's usually a yokai. 
Dude, you're doing a very awful job of hiding right there. Alright, let's try this again. Give the mackerel to Copperlet. Then, when I'm able to use items again, I'll go ahead and give some bacon to Quaken. Bacon to Quaken, that pretty that kinda rhymes actually. Well what do you know? Now let's guess Garuma's favorite food. Uh ramen maybe. No. It's, I notice it's getting uh, quite hard to befriend Yokai uh, now, uh, now that we've reached this point in the game. It's definitely getting more difficult. They don't seem to want to be befriended. Yeah, see no one. Well, maybe we'll be Maybe we'll befriend someone. Uh, I really do hope so, because I'm running out of meat and vegetable Not meat and vegetables. Meat and uh, seafood. Okay, um, Hungorge. I think we've seen him before. I'm gonna throw him the rice ball. Then give our last bacon to Quaken. And then let's guess again. Garuma's favorite food. Will you take the Chinese food? No. Vegetables, maybe? Meat? I don't know. Hope it's not meat, because I'm kind of screwed in that department. Alright then, there we are. Oh, I got some deluxe ramen from that, nice. But no yokai. Yikes. Okay, this... Oh, okay, the voice is um, calling us again, so we're definitely on the right track. Where is it coming from? Hang on, I'm feeling an aura coming from somewhere nearby. Let's take a look around. Oh, great. A yokai nearby. Well, it's uh, kind of obvious where the yokai is hiding. And it's a yokai that we've seen before, actually. Rattel, which uh, inhabited the museum last time I played Yokai Watch. Oh my, can you see me? I sure can. I'm looking for my friends. Have you seen any uh, humans around here? You mean that cheeky looking boy? Uh, yeah, that's probably one of them, yes. I believe she's speaking of Bear. If that's the case, he's right here. She stuffed him in the closet? That's, uh, kind of cruel. Ah, so this is the cheeky one you seek. Well, I'm not just gonna hand him over. What? Why not? Because. Well, if you must know, his mischief has put me in quite a state. The audacity, taking a bone from a lady's ribcage just like that. That is kind of rude. If you care about the well-being of your friend, perhaps you could secure the rib back for me. You want us to get your rib back. One, two, ah, it does appear one on the right is missing, unfortunate. But searching the whole school will be back-breakingly hard. Get it? Save your bone pun energy for the search. Besides, I may know where he put it. He said he was taking the rib to his home room, whatever that is. Until you get it for me, your pal stays right here. Well, looks like we don't have much choice, Cottonmouth. We are now on a mission to find her rib. Unsavory, but necessary. Bear and I have the same home room, room 5-2.
Okay, well, uh, bear accidentally angering the uh, lady skeleton there. Oh, it's Hungorge. Might as well give him a try. Along with copper lead, nice. Go ahead and give Copper Lead my last fresh urchin. After that, I'm down to just regular old dried mackerel. Alright. Now, come on. We should have gotten someone. I mean, I'm not going to go for an entire playthrough not befriending any yokai. Because that would just be embarrassing, really. But, um, uh, here it is. That big exclamation point floating above the desk. Let's keep that little observation to ourselves, shall we? A pretty rib. Not just any rib. A pretty one. Definitely an odd compliment to uh, give someone's a rib. Well, and in, in any case, here you are. Did you bring me my rib? Can you describe it so we know it's yours? I'm just ribbing you. This one probably belongs to you. Ah, the puns. The puns are real. Oh, I'm so happy. Even despite your lame pun, I was so worried I wouldn't find it. I couldn't even eat. Eat, but doesn't food just kind of go through you? Don't you worry about that. Sure, sorry. I'll give your friend back to you now, just as I promised. He's got nothing to say. <laughs> huh, what's up? Wait, wh what am I doing in here? Oh man, did I miss the fireworks? I gotta get up to the rooftop. And yeah, just like that. It's so lovely to have a friend who helps you when you're powerless. Or sealed away in a box. I wish I had a friend like you. I'm always here alone, so it gets rather lonely sometimes. Don't you mean... It gets bonely? <laughs> I'm sorry, it had to be said. Why don't we become friends? What, really? Yeah, no bones about it. Let's be best friends till the end. Hey, automatic recruit, what do you know? Rattel. I will not give you a nickname, so yeah, we... I can't say we didn't befriend any yokai in this recording session in case we can't befriend any other yokai, because we did get this automatic recruit. But, uh... Come on. All right. Just call me anytime you want to hang out and I'll come flying. We're going to be best friends forever. I can feel it in my bones. See, even she couldn't resist pulling out a skeleton pun. Well, Cottonmouth, I surely didn't see this friendship coming. I guess Bear already went up to the roof. Let's go find the others. Well, looks like that door is unlocked now. Let's check it out. Huh, Rattel must have unlocked the door when she left. Thank you, 